Hey guys, so I am back to do another video for you and today I'll be doing a first impression of a drugstore foundation and I'm pretty sure you guys already know what it is by the title of the video and it's going to be a first impression of the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. I picked up mine at my local Walmart for $5.49. So it claims to be a feather light liquid mousse, blends flawlessly for natural looking all day shine control. Silky smooth formula leaves a perfectly matte baby soft finish, lightweight texture, won't feel heavy or greasy. So if you are familiar with my channel, I do have very oily, acne prone skin and it's very sensitive. I will break out in a day if my skin doesn't like the product so I'm hoping this isn't going to break me out. My Walmart, it was going for $5.49 which is very affordable for a foundation but the sucky part is for some reason Rimmel London you guys are not expanding your guys shade selection there's only eight shades eight shades um, and I took 300 sand and this is their darkest color hoping that it'll match me um, if you're deeper skin tone than I am then probably won't work out for you because this is the darkest shade that they have packaging is very cute it's very travel friendly you can just throw it in your bag or something like that but the only thing is the way that they packaged it is you don't really know if this is going to be true to color to what's inside the bottle so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and open it up now something like this I'm not too sure if it's even going to be a match for me it kind of looks light but it kind of has like an orangey tint to it so I'm not too sure um, just to let you guys know, I did prep my skin already for it and I am using primer and I just did it because this is how I would normally use my foundation so I wanted to see if it would work. If you guys are wondering how I prepare my skin, I just use Melt of Magnesia and um, Hard Candy Skin Perfecting Primer and it's all over my face so... So I decided to go ahead and zoom you guys in just so you guys can get a better look of how my skin really looks like. It's nowhere from perfect obviously um, but... I do have like discoloration and like acne scarring from the past when I was younger I had like really bad acne and yeah so I have a lot of redness around my nose and um, I kind of have semi big pores if you can't even see I don't know if you can see that any better but um, today I'll just quickly use my what does this call it? My Sedona Lace 480 Round Top Brush and oh yeah, since it's closer you guys can kind of see how the foundation looks like but I'm going to dab it onto my brush. It's kind of thick. It blends out nicely. But I'm not too sure if this is the right shade for me. Kind of seems light. So this is how the foundation looks like once I applied it half on my face. Um, this side I have nothing on my face, obviously, besides the primer and everything. And this side I have the foundation. Um, looking at it, it does kind of set to like a powder finish. And it is quite matte and everything. But... Um, I feel like I can still see a little bit of the redness around my nose peeking through and I'm going to try and add a little bit more to that area. So this is about medium coverage I would say. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and finished the rest of my face. I did add some blush and bronzer and some lipstick. And I can just say that this foundation is a little bit too light for me. So I am going to be returning it. But I am still going to be doing the first impression and see how it holds up on my skin type. And I also did a flash photography test. And looking back at the photo, there isn't much of a white cast. And it does photograph fairly well. So if you do have 
um, luck in finding a perfect shade. This is a very good foundation to go ahead and take pictures with. I, I think so. But um, just because it's not my skin shade, I'm not going to be keeping it. But right now it's around 2.45 in the afternoon and I have some errands to do. So I'm going to go ahead and check back with you guys in a little bit and we can see how the foundation holds up. So it's around 4.30 <laughs> and it's been almost two hours since I applied the foundation and it's still matte and but I noticed that it was Daniel I'm gonna ask your opinion can you see like blotchiness around my nose like does it look kicky? I don't know no, I don't know <laughs> Hey guys, so it's around 8 o'clock in the evening and I've had the foundation on for a little over 5 hours. It's not that long but normally at this point my face would be super oily and I already can tell that I am a little shiny on my forehead. I can see in the viewfinder that there is light bouncing off of my forehead and a little bit over here on my cheeks and my nose but that's just naturally where I do get oily. But overall for not setting the foundation I really do think that it does is it does live up to the name of being matte um, I'll go ahead and just quickly talk about the pros um, pros to it is that it's very affordable it runs at my local Walmart for $5.49 and that's very cheap for a foundation um, it's drugstore so you can find it more easy than like maybe high-end products so yeah, and the packaging is very cute it's travel friendly and you can't go wrong with like being something so simple and can throw away in your bag or something like that cons though is that um even though the packaging is cute the way that they have the shade on it it's not really true to color i would say like this would look like it would match me i think if the product actually looked like this but it kind of looked more lighter in person you guys saw in the clip earlier um, another con is that just the shade selection isn't that great. There's only eight shades to choose from and this is being the darkest shade and I'm pretty tan but I'm not that deep of a skin tone if that makes sense. So if you're darker than me, um, you won't find a color match for you because this is the darkest shade that they have. Um, that's the con to it. And another con is if you do have dry skin or dry patches, I would say really moisturize that area because around my nose is a little dry some days and today it was pretty dry and it just emphasized the dry patch. So if you have dry skin, I would recommend it. But if you do have oily skin and you can find the right shade for you, I would highly recommend this product. It does keep me pretty matte and for not touching up. I think this foundation does a pretty good job. I even got caught in the rain and the foundation is still on. I do feel like it kind of transfers a little because I was wiping my mouth today when I was eating and the foundation does transfer onto the napkin. But overall, I don't really see that much redness peeking through around my nose even though this is only a light to medium coverage I would say mainly medium coverage so that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys thought it was helpful if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to click subscribe if you guys enjoy watching some of my videos and you want to see more let me know what other drugs or products or anything that you guys want to see first impressions on or reviews I do have a couple of other drugstore merchandise or things that I want to do first impressions of or reviews on and I will try and get that back up maybe next week or two weeks from now I don't know but um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in a comment down below and I will try and answer them to the best that I can and that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!